What's going on everybody? My name is Sky or Evolution here and I know it's late when I'm uploading this video. I meant to upload it much earlier, but unfortunately, due to some real life issues, I was unable to do so. So today I'm coming to you guys with my thoughts on every Pokemon with the Johto Dex. Just like with yesterday or I guess two days ago, considering it's twelve forty eight PM. I will be going over every Pokemon and giving over or giving my opinion on every one of them. Anyways, let's get started. Chikorita, cute. Bayleaf, cool. Meganium. I guess it's okay. I miss it or um I miss when it was good. And I wish it was better competitively. Cyndaquil, cute. Kalava, really cool. Typhlosion, super cool. Totodile, there's so many memes and I love it. Karkana, it's okay. Feraligator, it's cool I guess. Sentry, it's meh. Ferret, it's cool, it's cute. Hoot Hoot, eh, whatever. Noctel, I think I only like this because of the anime. Ladyba, it's meh. Lady Anne, its hands remind me of baseballs. <coughs> Cinerac, lame. Arados, it's kind of cool. Crobat, it's cool, I guess. Hello, Dave. Chinchow, eh. Lantern, eh, it's pretty cool, I guess. It's cute in a way as well. Pichu, it's cute. Annoying in Smash. Cleffa, quite boring. Igglybuff, boring. Togepi, it's cute. Togetic, pretty cool. Not to, kind of creepy. Zatu, it's cool. The concept is really cool. Marie, adorable. Flaffy, it's cute, I guess. Ampharos, it's cool. Mega Ampharos, fabulous. <coughs> Breloom, or not Breloom, Blossom. Why did I think it was Breloom? Eh, it's okay, I guess. Meryl, cute. Azumarill, it's okay. Sudowoodo. I like it because of the anime and I like its name. Its name is perfect, meaning fake wood. And considering it's a rock type, it's super cool and super clever. Politoed. Oh, holy RCS the memes. Hopip. It's okay. Skiplum. Eh. Jump Pluff. I still hate cottons. If you're a fan of the Silver League <coughs> and you know of Jump or uh, Cotton's Jump Pluff, I still am angry about the Ultra Champ Battle Festival way at the beginning of Ultra Sun Ultra Moon. I'm still wanting a rematch. Never got it. A Bomb. Kinda boring. Sun Curtain. Eh, some flora. Creepy. Yama. Eh, it's cool, I guess. Looper. Always reminds me, like, it always looks like it's screaming. Let me just look at that face. It's just like, ah! Quite, quite derpy. It's awesome. I love it. Espeon, majestic. Not one of my favorite evolutions in terms of competitive, but design wise, it is quite cool. Umbreon, one of my personal favorites. This and another future evolution are tied for my favorite. This one, ugh, oh, it's just such a majestic and fabulous design, and I want to hug it. Even though it'll probably kill me in my sleep, but you know, that's cool. 
And arguably one of the best shinies to ever exist. Oh, such a good shiny. <coughs> Murko, annoying. So King, I forget which Pokemon movie it was, but I've always had nightmares about one just walking into my bedroom and just talking to me. Ugh, creepy. Mischievous. It's pretty cool. Unknown. Unique. It's very, very unique. Boba Fett. A lot of anime love. Derpy. Lovable. You want to punch it in the face, but when you realize that this isn't actually its face, this is. Ugh. Jaffrig, adorable. A Pokemon that quite a lot of people tend to forget about, including myself from time to time, but it is still a really cool design, as well as being one of the few Pokemon to have a Palindrome name. And for anyone that doesn't know what a Palindrome is, it's a spell the same way forwards as it is backwards, sharing that with Ho-Oh, Eevee, Illuminola, and itself. Pineco, boring. Fortress. Boring. Dunsparce. I know a lot of people love Dunsparce, but me? Eh, it's okay. I really wish it had an evolution. Gygar? It's cool. Very derpy, and I still want one. I've been meaning to get one in my copy of Ultra Sun for some time now, and I've just been too lazy to do it. Steelix? Very cool. Mega Steelix. Same issue with Mega Steelix as I did Mega Aerodactyl. Too much going on. Where it's like, I get it, this is this part is cool. It's main body with all the gems sticking out of it and the uh, things coming out of its face, that's cool, but is this ring around it really necessary? Snubble. It's cute in a weird way. Eh, whatever. Rebel, very unique design. I like it. Killfish, pointy. I, I, eh, it's pointy. Scizor, awesome design. Mega Scizor, even better. Shuckle, it's derpy, and it's Shuckle. Do not mess with Shuckle. 230 defense, 230 special defense. This thing will tear you a new one if you are not careful. Heracross. Eh. It's alright. I mean, it's cool for what it is. Mega Heracross? Not a fan. Sneasel? Cool design. Teddy Ursa? Very cute. Ursa Ring? Awesome design. Still never figured out what this ring in the center of its stomach is supposed to represent, but I'm sure somebody in the comment sections will inform me. Slugma, what a hot Pokemon. Macargo, even hotter. Sign up. Kind of a forgettable Pokemon, but oh no, it's kind of cool, I guess. Pillow sign. Or, yeah, pillow sign. Eh, it's okay. Corsa, it's cute. Dig it, Ramosius! Why are you here? Yes, I'm going to make a lot of SL references, and if you're not a fan of the Silver League, you should definitely subscribe to them. But, to explain it, Ramosius is... I'm not sure about the full story... But I think it was something that gave the League Master some troubles in a walkthrough? Not, not a walkthrough, but when he was playing a game, a Remoray gave him some issues. And now any time that there's anything going on wrong with the site or with the streams or anything, we blame Ramosius the Remoraid. Oh boy. Artillery. Made no sense as an evolution from Remoraid. But okay. It's weird. Delibird. Always a cool design. I always wish that there was something more to it. Like, 
this looks like it should evolve from something or maybe have another evolution. I don't know. You got the whole holiday spirit thing going on with Deli Bird, and that's nice to have. Man Titan, surprisingly a good tank and competitive. And of course, it's traveling with its favorite Ramosius. Oh boy. Man, um. Stingrays have always been majestic, so Mantine's always got a good design. Scarberry, super unique. And a good typing combination. Houndour. It's cool. Reminds me of my dog that I own in real life. So, there's always that. Houndoom. Super cool design. Mega Houndoom. Bit much, but it's cool. Kingdra, awesome design. Love it. Fanfi, adorable. Absolutely adorable. Donphan, such a cool Pokemon and a Gen 6 favorite. And when I first started playing competitive, Donphan was the, one of the first Pokemon that I got as a setup lead. So it does hold a special place for me for that. Porygon 2, reminds me of a Duck. Stantler. Always such an awkward design. I, I don't know what it is. It's just super awkward. Smeargle. Unique design. And it's very interesting when you see somebody use a Smeargle that knows a move that you would normally think that it shouldn't, such as Sun Gale Strike or Moon Geist Beam. And yes, that is possible. Tarog. Eh. Him on top. It's cool. Smooch him. Mm, not a fan. Ella Kid. Eh, once again, not a fan. Magby. I like Magmar. What makes you think I'm going to like you? Militank. Oh boy. I know Jem's gonna rip me a new one for this. It's cute, I guess, but infuriating to battle. I mean, it's like, in its face, it's super cute. You know, it's tubby, it's a cow, it's cute, but its udders are always, ugh. Let's see. Even more infuriating than Chansey in certain cases. IQ. Arguably one of my favorite legendary dogs in terms of competitive play. Entei, awesome design. Absolutely love it. Sweet tune. Sweet, sweet tune. Bleh. This is why I should not be recording videos at 1 o'clock in the morning. <laughs> sweet tune. Majestic design. Beautiful. Nothing else to say about it. I retire. It's cool. Pupitar, it's okay, I guess, but does it really need to look like this? Tyranitar, sick design, absolutely love it. Mega Tyranitar, and eh, not as big a fan. I mean, it's cool, don't get me wrong, but Tyranitar, though, oh, just such a good design. Lugia, majestic, still wish it was water dragon type, or water flying. Or water something. Even if it was water psychic. I mean, it's called the diving Pokemon. It's... Uh, and I still wish Lugia was in OU because it's not really that great in Ubers. But I guess it would be a little busted in OU. Ho! Oh, majestic. Cool. And surprisingly a good physical attacker. I remember when I saw this thing for the first time and I thought, man, that's going to be a great special attacker. Then I came down to its stats and realized that it made a better physical attacker and then I was sad. Celebi, it's cute. I guess. Always reminds me of an onion for some reason. Don't know why. Anyways, so that is my opinion on the Gen 2 decks. Overall, I like a lot of Gen 2 mods. It has one of my favorite evolutions in it. 
and some really cool legendaries from Lugia Ho Oh and the legendary dogs. Some really good legends. If you guys have enjoyed, be sure to show me some love and hit that like button down below and tell me what kind of videos you'd like to see in the future. I have been Sky or Evolution Solution and I will see you guys all in the next video. Bye bye.